welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new my name is Juliana and I am the fiance of someone who is currently at Air Force BMT so I'm just here to share my journey with you guys and my experience I know that I'm constantly looking at videos like this like for support and to know what they were going through so I just wanted to offer another video out there for people who may be searching I know that I just posted the week two and week three videos but here I am. I am trying to catch up as best as possible in between school and work. So here I am. So I'm just going to share my experience from week four um, and let you guys know. Um, this past week was Valentine's Day, which was sad because he wasn't here, but was also really cute because he planned out a gift for me, which was so awesome. Um, I will insert a clip of what he got me here. Okay, so for my birthday, he got me this like it kind of looks like um, a fishbowl, but it has like the Air Force logo. I don't know if you can tell because of the glare. And then it has some words on the back. It says, kisses for when I am not with you. No, not around. So You can see it on my Instagram page if you go. But it's super cute and it's filled with Hershey kisses and like, he's so cute. And then for Valentine's Day, he got me this cute little like vase and a little like airman with the necklace that says Air Force and it has like our birthstones. His birthday's in October, mine's in February. So it's super cute. His mom made this. I will um, link her Etsy page down below. She makes really cute jewelry, which I have a lot of. Sorry, my necklace was bothering me, but it's not just too cute. He even got me my favorite flower just some flower but yes those are the gifts <laughs> that's what he got me for my birthday and for valentine's day it was super sweet and well thought out he is just he's just so kind i love him so much and i want to say thank you to his mom mama decker for driving to my house and delivering me my gifts it means a lot to me so at the beginning of week four i got a letter from him it was just very short but it was a letter because like I live for the mailman so got a letter it was just that he got my letters that he had it says today was my third week PT test there's no date on this so I have no idea I got this February 8th but I don't know when he wrote it um well, I guess that does tell me when he wrote it. Okay, you you know what I mean. Um, he says he thinks he made blue belt, but he will not, like he didn't know yet. Um, he said, thank you so much for my prayers. Um, he said that he was sorry that the letter was short, but thank you for sending him letters every day. Um, he also was like, I got your information for graduation, which is very important. I made sure I sent it, I believe, at the beginning of week three. So that means he got it relatively soon. But I think the deadline is the end of week three to get it. Like they have to have it by the end of week three. But don't quote me on that. Don't quote me on that. I will try to find the link for that on the Air Force Wing Moms page and try to link it down below for you guys. But Yes, he got our information, which is exciting because I mean, the graduation is soon. Um, on Valentine's Day, it marked one month till I get to see him, which I am ecstatic about. And like, I'm already like, should I start packing now, even though it's like a month out? But like, I want to be prepared. I just want to hop in the car and drive, you know? Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I was really occupied during week four. I had work, I went out with my friends. Well, my one friend, Olivia, <laughs> she's watching this. Um, I think I get more sad at the end of the week. So like on Saturday and Sunday, because I'm at home, I'm not like busy doing things. So I have more time to just be like, I wish he was here to go on a date or like wish he was here to just hang out. But it's going pretty, pretty fast you know I'm just gonna go through what they did during week four for you guys I'm sorry 
I don't have my iPad today. I have my laptop, so I'm going to be looking over here. So I'm just going to go down the complete list, but I'll also link it down below in case you guys wanted to see it. So it says they had Airman's Time, which was the Air Force symbol, Constitution, Copycat, Integrity, and P2 debriefing. They got Base Liberty briefing, Chapel Guide meeting, Clipper Cuts, Dorm, Dorm Skills? I don't know what that is. Drill three, consequences, real responsibilities of an airman. What now airman, big brother, physical training, base referral agencies, financial management, environmental awareness, joint ethics, military citizenship. Um, Sorry, this list is very long. They did sapper, sexual transmitted diseases, Weapons breakdown, cleaning, reassembly, weapons, familiarization, and recruit living area to progress check. So I'm assuming that's just like their bed and their like locker situation. So that is what they had planned for week four. Um, I think I heard from some people that they got base liberty and they were able to make phone calls on base liberty but he did not i don't know his mom he's supposed to call his mom next and she hasn't told me she's gotten a phone call so i'm assuming he either didn't get base liberty or he just doesn't have a calling card which i think is the actual problem but that's all for week four nothing else really happened i am now on week five it is monday February 18th, there is 24 days till I go to see him. And I, I just cannot wait. But I just wanna thank you guys so much for watching and stay <laughs> chugging along on this journey with me. I will be linking, again, the Air Force Wing Moms Facebook page and website down below so that you guys can find their resources and just let anybody else know. Oh, I do have a small little story, so. On Valentine's Day, when I went out with my friend Olivia, we went to Starbucks and we met this girl, the barista girl who was checking us out, was like talking. We were like, oh, what are your plans tonight? And she was like, well, I don't have plans. My boyfriend is actually at Air Force basic training. And I was like, oh my gosh, so is my boyfriend. And so we just started chatting. Her boyfriend graduates March 29th. I think so not the same week as Sam but we exchanged numbers and like we've been talking we've been praying for each other so it's just like I never thought that I would meet in person someone who's going through the same things as me but that was like totally awesome so just know that you're not alone and like feel free to reach out to me reach out to other people especially like in your flight group on Facebook or even on the wing moms page on Facebook because everyone's going through it or has gone through it so just know you're not alone but anyways thank you again so much for watching and stay tuned for week five i possibly am going to do like a day in the life tomorrow because i have actual things to do besides work so we'll see though we'll see but i want you all to have a fabulous day and catch you next time